Tonight, the CDC says the war on COVID has changed all because of the Delta variant. A new COVID surge has hit Southeast Texas. We're talking a rise in cases and hospitalizations. 5,846 Texans are in the hospital fighting COVID-19 tonight. That's the most we've seen since the end of February. Back then, most Texans weren't eligible for a vaccine. And we're also seeing troubling numbers in Jefferson County. If you look at the far right-hand corner of your screen, you'll see how quickly our moving average is shooting up. The CDC says the Delta variant is as contagious as the chicken pox. The agency says vaccinated people can get sick with it and spread it to others. Because of that, the CDC is recommending that people in high transmission areas like Texas wear a mask around others indoors. Now, as these numbers just keep climbing, the governor stripped local government's abilities to introduce restrictions for businesses. So now it's going to be up to each store owner to enforce their own COVID rules. Some telling our Amelia White that they're sick of having a fight with customers. Others say they trust the decision making of those who walk through their doors. Amelia, what are doctors saying tonight? Jordan Dage, doctors say it's time for a reality check. I spoke with two different businesses today and they both have two different game plans. Restaurants and stores should be taken care of first and foremost, asking everyone to do what's appropriate. Dr. Ray Kellis says without an official mass mandate order, businesses are faced with a tough decision. Well, we were just talking about last week that the numbers are going high, unfortunately, up again with COVID. Numbers that have prompted Twisted Gypsy owner Evie Knight to send a message. Right now, we are going to put the sign up. When Governor Abbott ended the mass mandate order in March, it took Knight a while to adjust. We actually kept our sign up for a couple months afterwards. And again, now that we're seeing the numbers jumping up, especially, you know, in Texas, here in Texas, we, you know, we, we don't feel comfortable again. That's not the case for every business here in Southeast Texas. Over at Bruno Italian Kitchen, no sign or message. We are letting people to have a choice. I will not, as of right now, we will not uh, reinforce the mask. Although masks aren't a requirement, owner Zamira Genrique says they're still being cautious. Still doing all what we can, you know, like sanitizing and keeping everything clean and, and we're following the guidelines to keep everybody safe. For folks looking for some guidance, we asked Dr. Callis for his take. If you're within six feet and you haven't been vaccinated, I don't care if it's a mandate or not. I'm just telling you as a local physician and a leader in Texas medicine, you should be wearing a mask. Dr. Callis also says wearing a mask, even if you're vaccinated, can decrease the chances of you getting COVID-19 and spreading it to others. I'm live tonight in Beaumont. Amelia White, 12 News. All right, thank you, Amelia. And they're not the only ones preparing.